The night Randall got killed, T. The night Randall got killed, bro. The cameo came back, that dog. Uh -huh. Like you see the choppers, them niggas was mad. Like the look on their faces, dog. They had on their mind. That hit. That one hit the cameo hard. They was mad about that. Dude, they wanted man. some other behind Randall. Thirty G came in the club, shot the security guard, bought him in the club, locked the door, and went in there looking for it. Again. What was that? Oh, my. Where we was at and we were selling at the time, so we were dealing with really, really all the monsters of the city. I used to give them the guns, they'd be like, they'd be like, man, I might, have to, I might have to use this bitch and put it. They might have a body when I say, we got a body. Before you get it, they got a body. Bring it back. Don't you bring that back. It's already hot. We need that. We do not long guns. We're gonna gonna bring guns. You video your way. You've been around a lot of people. You've been around a lot of situations and you know us personally. This is not just. A dude, you mad? I need to interview you now. We've been knowing each other for a while. We see other places. It was always love and respect. So you know, it look like this. We got it, man. We the twins, the Magnolia twins. You know, Uptown twins. I'm Shadon. Kareem, you used to be the Magnolia Militia. Seeing so many murder scenes, the visions are haunt you. Niggas ain't sending warning shots from deaths upon you. The street type boy, man, I love this shit. If my block had arms, then I'll hug that bitch. And my daddy's side is from the Calio. My mama's side is from the Magnolia. I've been in the Magnolia and the Calio since the 70s and mm -hmm. the 80s. I didn't move to the East until the late 80s. Right. You know what I'm saying? So before a lot of people was even born that claimed the Magnolia playing the Cali, I was in both of them projects before them. So, you know, you got some people who might say, well, they came back here in the 90s. No, man. I've been back I went here. to school back here. I went to wash clothes and went to the haunted house and we used to run from donut. You know, I lived in both projects. Like I say, and our time, you live where your mama's and you can live at. We grew up on 2719 Taladana mm -hmm. and 3624 Delia, Palmer Seat. That's my childhood. We called Delia Death Valley during that, during that time. It was so much going on in that cold way. We used to come home from, Coming home from school in the cattle, maybe we'd be stepping over the things in our hallway. Don't say nothing, little twin. You Don't know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. yeah, remember Randall Watts? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all remember Randall Watts, man? Say look. Randall, look. Randall used to get us in the hallway and crap us up. Make us tough and shit. Make, make us, us tough. We ain't trying to fall over, you know, make us tough. Yeah. 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 Make us yeah. tough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. I, I stayed in the cattle, bro. I probably would have been a cut boy. Because I stayed right there in Thelia Coat Week. Yeah. And me and, you know, we was all in the same class. You know, Randall Livingston, me, T Dub, yeah. Randall Morero was Randall Morero. Uh, uh, Randy them people, people, people. Who was the couple? Couple Wall was a group of niggas in the Calio. Right. Durgeon Wall and he rattled. There was some vicious hustling. Vicious hustling. Killing Yeah, it was real. Some real. It, it, it was in the era of uh, gangster, around that time. After, after gangster. After gangster. But they was around when gangster was around too. Yeah, but it wasn't a couple. It was just back in town at that time. Yeah, it was just back in town. The couple Wall came, I think, when the music came and C Murder came with the couple. But it was the same group of dudes. And all of them was about murder. About their money. What about their money. What Randall was in the cup boys. No. I wouldn't necessarily say that. No. You know what I'm saying? Damn, so okay. And I he was like an OG. Like, yeah, he was, he, OG. was, he, he yeah. was like an OG. He, so damn, so there was some other. But he was a cut boy. Like they called him the cup boy. What he used to be, they called it the cup right there. Okay. So they you come out rolling tabs, I'm going to that rivalry. That's the cup. The right boys there. in that cup right yeah. there. It was the cup. They had that when they had the fight. Uh, yeah. Nobody ever said that either. Yeah. Nobody right. that's, what they call, that's what they called the cup boys, really. You but did. Front of Town had their own shit going on too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some hard hitters from Front of Town too. Yeah, yeah they I, did. I heard they just started calling the FTK ladies. Yeah, Front of Town. The slam was a, was a legendary motherfucker from Front of Town. Mm -hmm. You talk about the Calio, bro. Wango, Spiggy, Randall, T Dub, uh, T D, Turbo, all of Randall. It was gangsters, man. It was real life yeah. busters. Randall Watts was a suspected and drug dealer, gunned down in a drive-by shooting. The night Randall got killed, T, the night Randall got killed, bro, speaking on that. The cameo came back that dog. Yep. In a van. No, but the chopper sticking up. You see, you see the chopper sticking up in that van. Lord, uh, from, uh, from the cameo to the It came to the man. We, we were out there on the old side one thing. We were hustling, though. We was, yeah, we was just out there just. Hold on, you spoiled up, bro. You, you said you could see choppers like. You know, like, like you I know, know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, like, like if they yeah, come up to the street, yeah. yeah. You know, they got the street light, that bitch might flash, and then they'll pass, uh -huh. and the mic flash. Uh -huh. You see the choppers, them niggas was mad. Like, the look on their faces, dog, they had burned on their mind. I'm not gonna see no names. Them niggas that was in that van knew who I'm talking about. And they were looking for a, a dude named Doug They were looking for Doug Aloo. Let's show Doug Aloo. Doug Aloo had just walked through the cut and went by his mama house before they got out the van. They were looking at us. If they'd have been looking on the other side of the street, they would have seen Doug Luke go in the cup. But they were looking at, they were focused on us, thinking one of us was somebody that they was looking for. So when they got by us, they got out the van and uh, they were like, twin, y'all seen Doug Luke? I was like, nah, dog, I ain't seen him. Nah, we ain't seen him. I ain't seen him. And I, I had just seen him like, uh, three seconds. I said, I ain't seen right, him. Wow. The look that they had in their eyes, bro. The nigga had that, it could describe how they looked that when they out for blood. That was it. That hit, that one hit the cabinet hard. They was mad about that shit. They wanted some other behind Randall. 
Yeah. They want some Like when my brother tell his story, he gonna, he gonna have a platform. He gonna tell his story. He'll remember that story. He'll tell him who was together that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He'll tell that story. Like he'll confirm that. Yeah, that's fine. The man, yo, that was in that van looking for Doug and Lou that night. He'll confirm that. You know what I'm saying? And Randall, that was a man, that was a serious motherfucker. So Randall's murder is still like cold. It's cold case. I'm pretty sure niggas who was out there saw it. They see my father police. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Same thing with Timmy one night. Yep. We in the eight ball. I don't know what it was with Tim and Tim and Third and G, you know what I'm saying? But Timmy had just went in the eight ball. And Third G said, Y'all seen Timmy? Third and G pull up in the van. White gloves on. About four, five of them. They can jump out. See, man, y'all seen Timmy? Like, nah, I ain't seen Like, nah, I ain't seen Timmy had just walked in the club. Hey, man, Third and G, so mother. Man, I'll tell you what them did here one time. I ain't gonna say no names. But we, we witnessed this. Third and G came in the club, shot the security guard, bought him in the club, locked the door, and went in that bitch looking for a nigga. Scared guy had nothing to do with it. And nothing to do with it. They just didn't want him to call nobody. Popped him, boom! Locked the door and went in that, went in the club. Looking for who? Bought him in the club and locked the club. You know, you could lock him in the club. The old club, you lock the door. Looking for the nigga they were looking for. Then we were really living on demon time. Like, whatever Timmy had did, third G had came looking for Timmy that night. We was outside the A-Ball by so rallies. We rolling up blunts and talking shit. We strapped too now. So we watching them roll up with the choppers in the van. But at the time, we had no problem with third and G. Third and G was like, we knew people that was kind of like mutual partners with third and G. They were looking for Timmy. And at the time, like I say, we never really had a shootout with Timmy. You know what I'm saying? Timmy was cool, he was cool with his sister. And that was after our little situation we had, so. But I still ain't gonna be no Timmy there. I thought, yeah, he in the crowd, go get him. I'm like, nah, man, I ain't, nah, seen, we ain't seen him. him. I'm not gonna have to, you know, I believe in karma. I believe shit, when you do up shit, it come back on you. Mm -hmm. So I try my best to keep it 100 in the streets, no matter what, I'm gonna say what I gotta say, I'm gonna tell the truth, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying, Wayne? I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna tell the truth, don't I? Just like my, just like my teachers say, man, I'm gonna tell the truth and let the truth fall away at me. I don't care what your, what your reputation is, how many bodies you got, you ain't gonna never kill me. And I ain't gonna let you kill me. So I don't give a fuck about it. That's why people like, well, when gangsters was wilding y'all, probably y'all wasn't worried about them coming rob y'all up. Man, them dudes ain't fucking with us like that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, we ain't had no problem with nobody like that. And at the same time, what they probably didn't know was, we, like, we didn't give a fuck. We, we didn't give a fuck who the was. We was gonna come around here. We was gonna try to leave you around there. No matter who you was. We my big brother, my, my big brother was so aggressive, bro, and his mind thinking. I, I don't wanna say paranoid because the way he was thinking was the way he was supposed to think because, like I say, we didn't have a reputation like the new side had. But the aggressiveness, if you played for shit handle with swiftly, that was all him. He instilled that in us, you know what I'm saying? We, so we, 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 we it, was, it, was, it, was, it was on 10. So and on top of that, we was a family. Shoot out the street lights and off light. Now I'll spin the bin and lay them again down. Nothing exciting shit. I tell you what, you better move like lightning. We beefing and they still won't hang. What's all right, man? Like earlier, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't never know like where the Cali or the Magnolia really couldn't get along like that. Like Gaines said, that was true when he said they used to hang. They was cool at one time. Like I said, always probably was some underlying shit with somebody ain't get along, but for the most part, I was, we was just fortunate, bro. But like, my, my last name is Matern, I'm Matern, so I got a big family in the Cali Project. Project. And even, even when I was in the back, I'd go back up with my people, I was like, kicking on the top porch with them and kicking and smoking, yeah. chill, and kicking it in. Now, we wasn't, we wasn't allowed on there on no violating shit. Nah. We was allowed in the Cali to do pretty much, you know, long we wasn't back there violating, man, I got some niggas in the Cali, I fuck with them, I fuck with them till I die, and that's just what it is.